Hello there is. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If today is the first time stopping by, you're so welcome. My name is Salasi. I'm a registered nurse here in Ghana. In today's video, I want to clarify the differences between a nurse assistant clinical, aka enrolled nurse, and a nurse assistant preventive, aka community health nurse. So if you've been wondering what are what is actually the differences between these two people, where do they work, what are their duties? This video is for you, especially if you are a nursing school applicant trying to decide which of these courses will best suit you. This video is for you. So, without talking too much because I like to talk, let's dive right into the video. Okay. So, first off, let's look at the similarities in these two programs. The first thing these two programs have in common is that they are both certificate programs. So you go to school for two years and you are you write your licensing exam and you graduate with your certificate. The second thing is that they have the same entry requirement. So you need at least E8 in English, Math and Science and also at least E8 in three of your elective subjects regardless of the course you did in SHS. So whether you did Business, General Arts, visual arts, whatever, is accepted for any of these programs. So the only grade that is not accepted for the certificate programs is F9. If you have F9 and you can't get three electives with at least E8, so A to E8, you can't get three electives with A to E8, you can't do this program. And social studies is not accepted. Okay? All right. And the third thing they also have in common is that they both do not go for national service so those are the similarities between the nurse assistant preventive and the nurse assistant clinical now let's look at their differences in the health system we have two major branches we have the clinical side where people are sick they are in need of help and treatment management to get back to a healthy state then we have the preventive side and that also speaks for itself because the people are not actually sick in most cases, so we are putting in interventions to protect their health, to promote a healthy lifestyle, to prevent diseases, and make sure they live a healthy life, a fulfilled life, and live as long as they can on God's green earth, okay? So when you hear nurse assistant clinical, that alone should tell you that this person will work on the clinical side. And when you hear nurse assistant preventive, that should also tell you that this person will work on the preventive side of the health system. A nurse assistant clinical is mostly found in the health facility, assisting in the care of patients, either on the ward, anywhere patients or sick people go to, you can find a nurse assistant clinical or an enrolled nurse there. They are part of the health team that takes care of the patient. They educate patients on their medications. They assist in feeding the patient, bathing the patient, assisting in the day-to-day -day care of this patient and nursing them back to health. And they work directly under the general nurses and um, all the other senior nurses that are in the hospital or wherever they find themselves working, okay? So that is a nurse assistant clinical or an enrolled nurse. Now, when we come to the nurse assistant preventive or the aka the community health nurse, they also work under the supervision of the public health nurses. They work mostly in the reproductive and child health unit of every health facility. They organize the child welfare clinics, family planning, and sometimes you find them trained to attend to people living with HIV. In Ghana, cheap zones are the lowest health facility we have in the system. The creation of cheap zones is how the Ghana Health Service implements primary health care. And the people on the forefront of implementing primary health care are the community health nurses or the nurse assistant preventive. 
So like I said, for the nurse assistant clinical, they are not so autonomous because they have to work as part of the health team. But the nurse assistant prevent team can work alone at the chief zone. So at the chief zone, the nurse assistant prevent team works as a clinical staff because they will take care of people that come in with minor ailments like uncomplicated malaria, um, diarrhea diseases, anything that doesn't really need serious attention, they are there to help. And anything that is beyond them, they refer to the next highest level. Okay, so they can work autonomously. They can work on their own, plan their preventive activities, CWC, uh, community diabetes, to and, and promote health. They are in the community to take care of the people of that community or people in hair catchment area to promote their health. Okay, so vaccination, all of that, okay? They do that. But you can also find nurse assistant clinicals at the chief zone because they realize that the CHS work is kind of overwhelming because most times per their work they have to go out into the community go for cwc outreaches go for home visiting so a lot of their work means they have to go out of the facility and take care of things in the community so they realize that they can add the nurse assistant clinical to them train them to give or to do the clinical aspect of their job so now you will find enrolled nurses in the chief zone now let's talk about career advancement before you get into any career you have to research and know what you want in the in with your career and then decide where to go next okay with the next assistant clinical because they are already in the clinical setting their progression is mostly linear or in the clinical setting so an assistant clinical who can upgrade to become a registered general nurse okay but an assistant clinical cannot upgrade to become a public health nurse like no you don't have that direct link to become a public health nurse the same applies to the nurse assistant preventive you can also upgrade to become a public health nurse but you can't you don't have a direct link to become a registered general nurse so this is the most important aspect that you should bear in mind. If your goal is to become a general nurse, so you want to use any of the certificate programs as a stepping stone, then it has to be nurse assistant clinical, okay? Don't do nurse assistant preventive. But if the goal is to become a public health nurse, then you have to do nurse assistant preventive, okay? Don't get this side confused. So if you want to help work in the hospital, knock. If you want to work on the preventive side, knock. Okay? But if you want to switch, then you have to go back to your SHS WASI grades better than to be able to switch their programs. Okay? I know some of you ask, so Nesselasi, personally, which one will you recommend for me? I can't recommend for you. I'm sorry. Because one thing I believe in is that this is life. Okay, this is your life. You have to do things that you choose to do so that if things are not going well, you know that, okay, I chose this for myself. And this is the main reason why I started my channel is um, I meet people, a lot of my friends and colleagues. They'll be like me. Yeah, I didn't know anything about this program or just somebody said, oh, I should just go and do it and I did it and and they are doing the work. You have to wake up, come to work eight hours, six hours and you hit the job that you are doing. And so that's why I started my channel to inform you, tell you what is out there, what the health system is about, what nursing is about and you armed with that information will choose what you feel like will suit you so if you're asking should i do nurse assistant preventive or should i do that one now only you go free answer that question mine is to guide you okay so now you know who a nurse assistant preventive is and who a nurse assistant clinical is 
So if you are interested in any of this program, why am I sweating so much? This room is hot. Ah. If you are interested in any of these programs, you decide which one will best suit you and then you follow through, okay? In this video, I go in depth about community health nurses, their job description, the benefits of being a community health nurse. You can click on it to get more information. And on this side, on, and in this video, I also talk about the enrolled nurses. You can also click here and watch and decide for yourself, okay? I hope this video is helpful. Like it, share, and subscribe if you've not done that yet. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.